Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. And when you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high. High to the sky. And then let's go down low. Touch our toes. And then back up high. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And give away when we're there. And then back down, touch your toes. Hands on hips. And let's have a wiggle. Stop. And another wiggle. Stop. And now face forward. And what we'll do now, hands up in the air, hands down, hands out, hug, up, down, out, hug, up, down, out, hug, down, up, down, up, hug, out, hug, and now we'll go down, five, four, Three, two, one, jump! Excellent guys, have a seat. So last lesson we talked about how often we do things and some of these words we used. Does anybody remember what type of words we used? Frequency. Adverbs. Excellent. Frequency. Frequency. Adverbs. Okay, so let's write this phrase, frequency, F-R-E-Q-U-E-N-C-Y, frequency, and how do we spell adverbs, A-D-V-E-R-B, S, frequency, frequency. Adverbs. adverbs, very good, frequency, frequency. Adverbs. adverbs, does anybody remember what two ticks meant, when we tick twice, something we do every day, uh, every day, every. always, excellent, always, A, L W A Y S always something we do every day always 
then we have one tick some days we say sometimes s o m e t i m e s sometimes always sometimes never n e v e e r always sometimes never these are frequency adverbs okay so now we're going to have a little activity in class i am going to ask the question to my students the question is how h o w often o f t e n do you y o u and then we'll have our activity and what do we have at the end of the question how often do you okay so i need my first volunteer who would like to play at the front of class pak bung thank you for volunteering okay so let me think pak bung how often do you brush your teeth never sometimes or always? always always excellent every day always okay so with the blue pen can you write the answer i always a l l w a y s i always brush b r u s h my how do we spell my and teeth t e e t h excellent so pak bung once again how often do you brush your teeth always brush my teeth excellent high five round of applause for pak bung okay so we've done always now let's practice sometimes who would like to come forward plow okay hand went up very quick so we have always already can you write your sentence here let's see something plow sometimes does how often excellent that's what i'm about to say how often do you go swimming what's the word first which is the word always sometimes or never sometimes sometimes not every day every day would be always but some days some days go swimming so we say sometimes so can you write your sentence first word i o m e t i m e s i sometimes go g o no need for two just go swimming s w i m 
perfect so I will ask the question again how often do you go swimming and you will excellent very well answered high five and a round of applause for Phil okay so we've done always we've done sometimes what shall we do next what words next never who would like to do next down please come forward and let's think of a question for down something down has never done down how often do you go to USA you can say which word will you use never never. never been to USA so I and what's our word guys adverb words never, never. n-e-v-e-r I never go and this time to T O U S A. How do we spell U S A? U S A. America. United States of America. Excellent. So, Dan, how often do you go to U S A? I never go to U S A. Perfect. High five. Round of applause. So you can see that's a recap of our previous lesson, frequency adverbs. One more time all together, guys. I always brush my teeth. I sometimes go swimming. I never go to USA. Excellent, well done. And now it's time for our flash activity. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off all of the flash sheets prior to the lesson and arrange them into their different sentences. Each sentence is a different color. And what we're going to do now is we're going to invite students forward, give each student a flashcard, and they have to arrange their sentence so that it reads correctly. So make sure when you give them they're incorrect. You don't want the sentence to be correct straight away. So the first sentence will be three flashcards. I need three volunteers. Who would like to come first, guys? Lakkau. Anybody else like to play? Lakkau? Nadia? Pat? Okay. So we have our three volunteers. You can stand here. We have three flashcards. I will give this one to La Gao. I will give this one to Nadia. I will give this one to Pat. Swimming, go, they sometimes. Is that correct? No. What do we need to do? Oh. Okay, so can you arrange yourself so that we... They sometimes swim in go. No. Is that correct? Okay, how they about... Sometimes go to Berlin. They, they sometimes go, go swimming. Berlin. Is that correct? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you really sure? Yes. If you're sure, guys, you can stick them to the board. They sometimes go swimming okay so Lakau, can you say your flashcard Nadia Pat they sometimes go swimming is that correct yes high five high five Lakau. high five Nadia high five Pat round of applause for everybody guys 
Okay, now for the second round. Now I need four volunteers. Okay, Bangpon, net, down, pak boom. So let's see, can you stand in the line here, please? I need my four volunteers here. Okay, I'll get my four flashcards. Pak boom, that one's for you. Bang Bon, for you. Ned, for you. Down. So let's see. Hold them up high, guys. Hold them up high so we can see. Always, no, firstly, we have always football I play. Is that right? Yes. No, that's not right. <laughs> what do we need to do, guys? Okay, who has I? Okay, so let's see, can you arrange yourself? I play always football. Are we right? No. No. Okay, I, is I right? No. Yes. What's the second word? Always. 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 Who has always? Bang Pong, you can come and stand here. I always play Football. Is this one right? Yes. The second one? Yes. Third one? Yes. Fourth one? Yes. Okay, are we ready? All together. I, I always play football. football. Is that right? Yes. Are you happy, guys? You think it's right? Yes. Okay, if you think it's right, you can stick your flashcards to the board. I always play football perfect who has I I always play football football excellent high five guys high five high five high five high five well done so now round three I would like to invite Prel because she has not played yet. Prel and three others. I need four volunteers. So who will come? Prel, Lakau, Pakboom, Nadia. Okay, we have four. So let's see. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let's read it firstly, it will be wrong. To school goes never she. Is that right? No. No. What do we need to do? She goes to, she never goes to school. Okay, so Lakau, where does Lakau need to be? She. You can go to the front. She to school never goes she she never to school goes ah how about now is this right yes she never goes to school excellent guys do you think it's right yes are you sure are you really sure? Yes. If you're really sure, can you stick your signs and maybe along here? Excellent. Okay, so one more time together. She never goes to school. High fives. Nadia. Pak Bung. Preo. Lakau, round of applause. Excellent guys, very well worked out. So let's say our three sentences together. They sometimes go swimming. She never goes to school. 
I always play football. Excellent. Always. Always. Sometimes. Sometimes. Never. Never. These are our frequency adverbs. Excellent. Well done. And now it's time for our stretching sequence. So let's stand up guys and push in our chairs. And we'll begin with our hands on our hips. And let's give a little wiggle. Stop. Another little wiggle. Stop. Rounds and rounds. Rounds and rounds. Rounds and rounds. And stop. Back the other way. Back the other way. Back the other way. And stop. Backwards, forwards. Backwards, forwards. Backwards, forwards. And stop. And now, let's shake it out. Shake it out. Excellent. And to finish, we're going to do five jumps. Just jumps up and up. Are we ready? Are you ready? How many? Five? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Excellent, guys. Have a seat. And now we're going to have a quiz. I'm going to write some sentences on the board regarding frequency adverbs. But what we're going to do in preparation for the worksheet activity is I'm going to write something wrong and my students are going to try and identify what my mistake is. So are you ready guys? Ready, okay. So first sentence. She, okay, okay so far, she. She never play Okay. She never play football. What's wrong? I play, you play, but what do we do if it's the third person? Play. So what did I forget to do? Where? Here? No. Here? No. Here? Yes. She never plays football. Ah, I see. When we talk about the third person, we use the verb, we have to add what letter? S. S. If it's the first person, I. Second person, you. It's okay. We can use the base form of the verb. But for the third person, he, she, or the name of somebody, Pak Bung, Bang Pon, Prel, we would use plays. Okay? So one more time. She, she never, never plays, plays football. football. Okay. Sentence number two. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. They they goes to school. S C H O O L. They goes to school. Is that right? They goes to school. No. What's wrong? It should be, it shouldn't be goals. If we say he or she, 
he goes to school she goes to school but if we use the subject pronoun they do we use goes no so what do i need to do geo what do i do i need to delete es, ES. they go to school is that right that's better now it's right first of all i wrote it wrong they goes to school we don't use we use but only with he she they go to school okay guys all together they go to school let's do one more use blue again I always A L W A Y S I always takes A shower S H O W E R. So let's read it together. I, I always, always takes, takes a, shower. a shower. What's wrong? Takes. Perfect. Again, you see, we use S with he or she. But when we talk about the first person, I, we don't need, what don't we need? S. So we can delete S. I, I always take a shower. When we talk about ourselves, the first person use the pronoun I, always use the base form of the verb. We don't need to add S with I. We add S with he or she. So all together guys, she, she never, never plays football. football. They, they go, go to, to school. school. I, I always, always take, take a, a shower. shower. Excellent, well done. okay so now it's time for our worksheet activity so teachers what you'll need to do is print off a worksheet for each of the students in your class and similar to the activity we just did on the board our students have to look at the 10 sentences that are on the worksheet all of the sentences contain a mistake similar to the ones that i was practicing on the board here what our students need to do they need to read the sentence, identify the mistake, and then write the correct sentence in the space next to it. So the first one is done as an example. For example, number one, I always goes to school at seven o'clock. When we talk about I, as we learned, we use go. So it's being changed to, I always go to school. So our students will need to read through the rest, identify the mistake and write the correct sentence. And obviously monitor the class and help your students with any help they need. And give our students around 20 minutes for this activity because it involves quite a bit of writing and thinking. So, first thing we need to do guys, write our names up for you. Down. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, Ned. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Like you're welcome. Thank like boom, you. you are welcome. So write your names on top, guys, and then have a read of the sentences. And we can do together. Like sentence number two, Nadia. She 
never play tennis. When we talk about he, she, what do we do with the verb play? S. 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 So she never plays tennis. You need to write the whole sentence correctly. She never plays. You see, play, but no S. We need to write with the S. She never, and then play, but with play, what do we need to add to the end of play? S plays. When we talk about the third person, add S to the verb. They sometimes go to the beach. Sometimes does not come at the end. Sometimes should be here. So instead of they go to the beach sometimes, we write they sometimes go to the beach. Sometimes should be the second word, not the last word. Yes. You see here, sometimes needs to go here. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to read through the various, not so much questions, they had to read through the various sentences, identify each mistake and then write the correct sentence in the space provided. And my students all did a great job here. So well done guys, well done. And that brings us to the end of the lesson. So we hope you've had a fun time, found it interesting and learned something too. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we all turn to wave and say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye bye. See you again soon.